Information from Volkov confirms their worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Bark will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Copy that, Park. Stay on comms. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. Bell, we need to move. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. The plan is stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Perseus has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. High and low. Gotcha! Oh. Holy hell, where'd you learn to shoot like that? Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back at cover. Have pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. Move into the base. Find a way into the main building. I'll trail and disable the perimeter alarm. Quick thinking. Shit. Patrol's approaching my position. They'll find a way in. Follow around. Bell lay low. They're sending a chopper to your position. Get 
out of their belt. If you're spotted, it's over. Посторонний! Нужно посветление! Назови себя! Эй, ты кто? You're welcome. You lost something. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. What the fuck, Bell? Они обходят нас фланга! Oh yeah, 
You found another sector. Shit, it says this place was built as some kind of early warning system. Missile defense. We have contact! Be ready. There'll be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Let's go. Not a fucking word, Bell. The hell is this place? It's a Spetsnaz training course. Made to look like fucking any town USA. Get a picture of that, Bell. Starting. Fuck, let's move. If they want a live fire drill, let's go. Incoming grenade. Move. I need suppressing fire! Russian vehicle inbound! Now where'd the rest of those commie bastards run off to? Cover me! Move! Huh. 
I thought there was more. Contact on the rooftops! They all go. Take point, Bell. I did the idea of the army. You guys, a thousand rooskies and a buttload of bullets. We gotta keep moving! Cover me! I knew it! Enemy moving the flank. Hi there. Welcome to Burger Enemy Town. moving the flank. Oh, man, serve you. Shit, it's Bubby. I fucking love you. Ищу укрытие! Выдвигаюсь! Bell, head for that control tower! Incoming grenade! Head to the control tower!
That elevator leads straight to the control tower. Head for that elevator. See that control tower? Head that direction. Nowhere to go but up. We got caught up in some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? <laughs> Looks like their command center. Come on. Jackpot, Computer Central. Let's see what the Reds are really up to. Bell, hop on that terminal. Start poking around. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Archive. Tactical Urban Combat Statistics. Restricted access. That's kid stuff. Keep looking. KGB daily reports. Restricted access. Boring. What else is there? Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. That picture of the ugly chick. Girlfriend, maybe? Restricted access. Come on, Bell. You're supposed to be this master code breaker. Nice. We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light asset. It's one of ours. If that gets out... No one will know. Not even Adler's team. The stakes are too high. High is an understatement. We're talking about an American nuke hidden beneath Berlin. I want to make sure you're committed, Hudson. The play's been called. The ball's in motion. Well, if the asset learns the truth... You're worried about truth now? I'm concerned about control of the asset. If we can't control the asset, we end the asset. Game over. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. 
Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. The stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit, time to go. Unauthorized access. Take it home, I'm gonna fucking kill Hudson. with the red store the array they had to relocate it when they gutted the main building for training shit cover me To worse. Just make sure Adler and Mason are ready at the exfil. to block in the exit. We're gonna have to punch through them. Give me some fucking cover! 
Heads up, got another heavy in the mix. Hell yeah! You found all the sectors, Bell. Intel jocks are gonna love you. Yes, sir, I'm on it. You 
knew the nuke was from green light. Didn't tell us. What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't going to help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced if the Reds moved on Europe, we couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high-yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. And you're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Eh. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar throw you. Belikov is the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half of them. Вот и вот вертолет.
Heads up. Scouts on the ridge line. Do it all quiet like? Yeah, you're the expert in quiet. Hey, I'm a complicated man. Good kill. Not bad. Let's keep moving. It's going loud, huh? <laughs> I like it. You take one, I'll get the other. Good kill. Shit, this looks dicey. But hey, it's good enough the Reds. <laughs> you go first. Time to pay Ivan a visit. See? Piece of cake. That's the old SATCOM building. Looks like it's hanging by a thread. Let's keep moving. Good kill. See any more? I think we're in the clear. Damn. Look at this place. Frame for extraction. Dig site seven. We better move. Huh. Crossbow bolt. Looks like Hudson had some fun here. Yeah, that's not how he remembers it. Try the stairwell. Soviet engineering at its worst.
That's the doomsday bunker. We're getting close to the mainframe room. We'll cross on that cable. Those reds on the helipad have some serious orders. We're gonna take a look at cross. I went first last time. Why change it up now? Whatever. Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Station. Woods. Great. Здесь тихо. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. Да я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены тела с пулевыми ранениями. Ты что, хочешь сказать, что наше начальство скрыло вражескую атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я люблю случай. Нам пора идти. Ты что, боишься привидений? Я боюсь заблудиться и замерз нас насмерть, слушаю твои идиотские байки. Давай уже закругляться с обходом. Мне нужно подкрепление. locked. Mason, do you read me? Mason, do you 
read me? Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. Bet this opens that weapons locker. Открывай! Я думал, он у тебя. Идиот! Мы его откроем. Используй гранату. Ничего Взорви его. Вижу. Идиот. Мы рискуем. Что это было? Ты слышал? Я, а -а -а. Я выпекаюсь. Well, look at this. Нужно подкрепление. Так, уничтожен. Over here. With the ruckus you made, I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. You see any dig sites? There. What's that? Bingo. Map says that crane is hanging near the old computer room. That's gotta be it. Have you found the mainframe? There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. Excuse me? My... my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up. <laughs> they got a crane, we got a chopper. Надо закругляться. Выступаем через 10 минут. Здесь посторонние!
Get down there, now! Cover me! Moving! I'm moving!
shit! Hope this one holds. Damn thing better hold this time. Position. Lower the winch. Loading. Mason, hand me that cable.
afraid to take it a pounding. Go, go, go! My lads, this weight is most unfortunate. Come on! Pick up the base, Belikov! Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way, we're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for Exfil. Are you taking her into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. She's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. Oh, that new and larger came in. I set it up in the dark room for you. Curious. Does the name Madame Shell mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. There's intel crisscrossing ARPANET that her body washed up along the Padillos River in Cyprus. Huh. That's so. And her head, <laughs> two kilometers downstream. Reports estimate her death around August of last year. Of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. Coincidence, wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. Leave behind a trail of heads? Bound to get attention. I worked with Madame Shell for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. Oof. 
That's a dirty gun. Right. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. <laughs> Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it poetic justice. <laughs> the Tsar. Thank you. For what? I didn't expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so you'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies. But after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. Being cheeky, are we, Bill? I'll be here if you need me. Time to break out your Russian, Belle. Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep. It's a long way to Moscow. Nope. Don't touch my legs. Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? That's on a need-to-know basis, and from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, 
but it won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? I jumped off a roof in Calcutta back in 75 while chasing a Soviet agent. The jump was successful. The landing, not so much. Advice? Always make sure you know where the utility poles are. Okay. Sometimes the Reds hide coded messages in plain sight. If I know one thing about you, it's your ability to crack just about anything known to man. Well, how about it then? 